Hello and welcome back to the next episode from Legendary Adventures. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And today I am going to start us off between episodes, what I've been doing. Um, I've got a mangrove tree. Yes, I found mangrove. I've also been doing a bit of terraforming. This, this area has been completely changed in the shape and size. Um, if I come down, I've also been putting some signs in place. So I've got an idea of what we're going to be doing. This could be a sugarcane farm over here. We're gonna throw in a kelp farm over here. We've got a massive tree farming area over here. And then I've terraformed all the way around over here as well. Now this one, I think the kelp farm's not gonna be that big, so I might end up putting something else under here as well. I can't go too far deep though, because obviously the shaft is there for the uh, thing. So maybe I won't be able to put anything in there. I might just have to decorate instead, but I'm not quite sure how we're gonna decorate these steep sides yet. But yeah, we've got a bamboo area farm area set up over there as well. Um, if we come really far over here, I've got space set up for my crop farms, which is something we're going to have to get into relatively soon. But what we're going to do to start today? Well, that is the question. Because a lot of you guys have been asking for me to do it. And I've been wanting to do it for a while. So I think we're going to have to go and fight the dragon. I think that's going to be a good idea. So what I need to do is I need to make preparations for fighting said dragon. Now, I don't have shears on me. I need a sheared pumpkin. Um, shears, yes. Also, I've been collecting a few spawners. Now, as you guys know, World Utilities have spawner wrenches. So what I have is I have a blaze spawner, I have two skelly spawners, and a zombie spawner. These I'm going to make farms with. Now, having the blaze spawner in the overworld is going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to making farms. Um, I haven't really done anything up here yet. Thinking about it, I was going to show up here, do some work, but I haven't done anything up here yet. I'm going to make the nether portal kind of nether themed. Blackstone, magma, you know, all that good stuff. Netherrack, all that in there. Some basalt. Got another wanderer, wandering tinker. Hello, friend. What What do you want to sell me? you got blaze heads. Now, I might have to buy some of these heads. I'm not sure what they do. Uh, it's quite a good shout to buy grout from this guy as well. Eight grout for two... Emerald is quite good. Um, these things, I want to get these as well, but they die, they are pretty deadly. And I haven't really done much playing around with the Tinker's Construct at all as yet. So maybe there's something else we can look at later in the episode. But yeah, anyway, another thing I've done between episodes, I've put an update onto the world, up the world pack, um, just so I can do this. And now it despawned the leaves now as well as despawning the wood because um, it's kind of annoying when it doesn't despawn the leaves as well. But the problem is there's a set number of blocks it will go up to. When it reaches that set number of blocks, it will not go any further. Now, it's not a problem for small trees. As you saw, that small tree got tree capitated very nicely. But if I was to take out that tree with it touching that tree, it's not going to take them both out. It will start taking them both out. It will come down to the bottom, but then it will have two floating bits at the top, which is a little bit annoying. So that's something we need to look at. But yeah, I want this to do... Anyway, I'm distracting myself. I'm very good at distracting myself. Let's jump this stuff in here and let me get stuff and things in place for me to fight the dragon. Because, yeah, we need, I want to get this dragon fight done. I want to get some shulker boxes going and all that good stuff. So we got our smite sword. Uh, that's my axe, even. I know how to smite uh, sharpen this sword. I uh, didn't want to pick up two of them, but yeah, whatever. I'll pick the rest of them up and we go see our villager friend with them. Why not? I need to get silk touch on my axe as well. That'd be a useful thing to have. Because then I won't have this problem. I'm trying to pick up many, 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 many melon slices. I'd rather not be picking up melon slices all day. I'd rather have melons. But yes, I am. I'm, I'm rambling again. I apologise for that. Let's get stuff. Let's get set up for uh, for fighting the dragon. Alrighty, here we go. Let's set our spawn point. Make sure we got that nicely, nicely, and then let's hop in. I haven't put my pumpkin on my head, but that's fine. Oh goody. I am glad I bought some blocks. Because the dragon doesn't seem very... I've got, got Enderman jumping off already. Suicidal Enderman. Gotta love that. I might get knocked off before I even get started here. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? 
and that would mean the dragon fight is not actually going to happen because it'll mean I have no gear again. So I'll have to go back and trade my villagers up and get myself some gear back. Because that's not, no, actually, that's not a bad situation to be in. Because I can dig my way up through here. Apparently, I'm getting end slime balls as well from the Tinker's Construct. What is? Ender slime beam. Place on end stone to create ender slime island. Now, this is not something that has to be done in the uh, in the end. It can be done in the overworld. Hi, friend. How you doing? Right, let's get the bow out and start taking out some of these bad boys. If we can actually hit them. Teddy's aim is not brilliant with a bow at the best of times. I'm not going to lie. Run over here away from the dragon before she eats my face. Got it. Oh, apparently I hit the dragon, did I? I don't know. I might have actually hit the dragon there instead of hitting the... Oh, hello. I didn't bring any glass bottles with me. That's all right. We'll respawn the dragon later. At a later date, we will be respawning the dragon anyways. Come on in. Let's get this white axe out. I'd love potion to this. Genuinely would love some potions for this. Now I can't take them out easily. That one's still got one on it. Don't seem very interested in attacking me, which I'm not playing with well. Now I'm using the axe to look smart on the axe. I've got sharpness on the sword. I realize this is probably extremely loud for you as well. So let me run away and turn the volumes down slightly. Um, although normally I turn the dragon noises down, so we might be okay. Let me just see if I can do this without getting murdered. Uh, main volume is only on 15 anyway. Let's turn hostile creatures down a little bit. So I only have the main volume low anyway. Oh, that's better. Yeah, she's still loud, but she's not as bad. Maybe you can hear me over the dragon now, which would be quite nice. Got some Enderman anger at the dragon too. This seems to be going pretty well, this fight. I'm not going to lie. That one's still intact. Out of my butt. Rude. Um, that one's still intact as well. Although she doesn't seem to be doing the usual tricks for me today, which I'm quite happy about. Any more other than the cage ones that don't have... Yeah, you have one on. Not even close. Ow, ow, ow. Dragon's Breath. Rude. Anybody remember when that was really, really bad and you couldn't get out of it? I do. I remember when that was terribly bad. Alright, come on, dragon. Are they made it easier in 121 for the fight of the dragon? Or what? This is just, like, silly. She hasn't swiped me once. She hasn't really hit me with the Dragon's Breath once. And she's now dead. So we're going to use the XP for gathering ourselves um, repairs and well as gathering levels, of course. For 35 levels and we repaired everything. This is brilliant news. I love this idea. Um, one egg, please. I want my egg. Oh, actually, I need my free torch too, don't I? Yeah, if I can grab one. There we go. Perfecto. Right, I need the free torch because I need to be able to use the torch to get the thing on it. Although saying that, it did bring coal with me, so, you know. And voila. One uh, dragon egg acquired, one dragon defeated, and one end gateway opened. Not that we're going there right now. I'm going to do that on stream. So if you want to see me go f end raiding... I will recommend you go to twitch.tv forward slash Teddy Legend Gaming and check me out over there. Alrighty, we have returned from our stream and our end rating session, and I have got funky wings on my back. The creeper wings look so good. I also have spare wings. 
many many spare wings i have many many spare wings indeed in fact in total i have 16 pairs of wings i've got a stack and a half of diamonds i've got six armor trims and i've got three and a half stacks of chocolate shells and that's just in that chest i've got another five to go through amazing right this one is pickaxes and shovels this one is all the miscellaneous stuff including a lot of obsidian which i actually got from breaking in the chests because i don't i didn't have a steel touch pickaxe i do now in fact my my fortune pickaxe is probably in here somewhere because i i do have a fortune pickaxe and i, I just threw it in a chest so it, it must be here somewhere there it is that's my fortune pickaxe or is it that one i don't care i'll have this one this one's fine uh all the armor we got or most of the armor we got we got some spare armor and stuff there's my original pants and leggings uh pants and chest plate there as well and then finally all the swords we got which means i'm not going to need gear anytime soon which is really quite nice it also means i have fortune and silk touch available to me and all the other good loot which is really good and somehow i didn't die in all of this i don't know how i did the dragon fight I did the end raid and I didn't die once. Maybe Teddy's finally become pro at this game. You never know. Right, so now I've got all these wings, I really need to start thinking about how I can uh, fuel said wings because that's all the gunpowder I have left. Um, I've got 58 rockets in my pocket. And if I remember rightly, I've got a few rockets in. Yeah, got another stack of rockets in there. Other than that, I have nothing to my name. So it's, I think, time we start doing another project. Now, obviously, I have this sugarcane farm here. This is all good for, like, starting up. I'm going to need something bigger than this, though. So that's where we come down into here. Now, I put this path in place since the last clip. I know I realized I started back in the house, but it's fine. Yeah, I started putting the path in place, and making preparations, which I was pretty sure I showed you preparations I've done over here already. But this is where I'm going to put the sugarcane farm. Now, I have actually been doing a little bit of preparation off camera for that as well, because I have everything I need, pretty much apart from the glass, which I need to go over to the uh, villagers to grab quickly. I have everything I need to build a sugarcane farm. So what I'm going to do, I am going to cut away. I'm going to do it off camera, because you guys have all seen how you build a sugarcane farm. If you haven't seen how to build one, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube doing exactly the same sugarcane farm. So head over there if you want to see what's going on. But I'll come back to you guys when I finish building it. Okay, so a bit of time's passed, a bit of work has been done, and we have got ourselves a sugarcane farm in place. Now, I haven't finished decorating around the outside. Um, obviously, we're going to have another farm on this wall over here, and then we're going to have the tree farm sat in the middle, and our villager farm over here. Uh, crop farm over here, sorry, and obviously more tree farm over this side as well, and I don't know what I'm doing down here yet, but that house is going to go away, that farming bit's going to go away, and I might actually make that the tree farm down there for the big trees, that might be quite a good idea, all the speciality trees that take a lot of space, like your cherry trees and your mangroves and all that good stuff, because, you know, the mangroves, they, they do get pretty on the big side, you know, but yeah, I'm happy with how this thing looks, and it already is making me paper, as you can see, somehow I've got a random piece of sugar and only 10 paper. Now, I'm supposed to make paper in threes. So, oh, there's more coming in now. But yeah, it made three that time, but it gave me another bit of sugar, which I'm, I'm a little confused as to how. It's probably where the observer, let me take you in here and I'll show you what I've been doing in here. We're going to need sugar at some point anyway. Let me just break into here, because I think for some reason... The observer is double ticking. I really need to change that for a piece of redstone. But the problem is I can't change that for a piece of redstone because I can't got space to do it. So basically, this is our um, crafter here. Currently got two in it. So when it things up, um, you can go in here. This crafter over here is the other end of the circuit. It's got eight of the nine slots filled. So basically, because the comparator signal or eight out into that piece of redstone that comparison now has eight as well when that hits nine this red this reads the difference in the redstone here send the signal off which obviously this observer then reads sends that into that block and then that powers the crafter to give me paper now the problem with this is for some reason that observer is pinging twice 
I don't want it pinging twice. But unfortunately, I don't think there's any way of me changing that. So I'm going to have to leave it as is and just deal with getting a little bit of paper as well. Which is a little bit annoying, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We're going to get a bit of sugar. But it's cool. Yeah, we are getting quite a good bit of paper out of this. So I am not complaining. I mean, if I get a big run of paper, I'll get a lot come through at once. It probably won't make sugar. It probably make more paper. So... But yeah, we've got an automatic paper farm. That's that's a good start, right? Now we need to build ourselves a kelp farm and a bamboo farm and many, many other things. But let's go to wait for a future episode because I am going to end it right there. I have run out of time for today's episode. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you really love it, hit subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.